All right, hello everybody. This is Chris Sevaleha from Scotch, and today we will be building our very first Angular website. Now, if you haven't really messed with Angular version 2 plus, which is just now we're calling it just Angular, it is a great time to jump in. It's very mature these days, very, very easy to work with. And Angular is a one framework. If you can consider it a framework where you consider something like React and Vue a little bit more on the library side of things since they do specific things like a Vue instance and all that stuff. But Angular is a full framework and it does all of these things for you. So I think it really works well when we're trying to build this cool website out. And we'll see exactly how quickly we can do that, right? We can develop across all platforms, speed and performance, uh, very fast compared to Angular JS uh, version 1.x and lots of really good tooling, which we'll see as we build out our cool website. Now let's take a look at the website. It's not going to be the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but I really want to showcase some of the Angular workflow and how you'd build things and a lot of the concepts behind Angular. Let's take a look. Uh, this is our site and it's just going to be a very simple homepage, contact page and user section but we can see how we can route between different pages. We can see how we can get started with an Angular app using the Angular CLI. We can see how we can route to these pages and let's click through. So we have home, we have our contact page and you can see how we can build out a form in Angular. Now the cool thing here also that I wanna do is yeah, we can route to different pages, but if I go in and inspect element here and if I go to the network tab, the JavaScript section, let's go to the home page, refresh. And this is really cool part. Let's say you have a very complex website and you have multiple different sections. Angular makes it very easy to lazy load each section so that you only load the assets when you visit that section. And it makes our applications very lightweight and fast. So you can see that all the things here were loaded for Angular. And if I click this user section, notice there's a new users.module that just got loaded. And that's all of the assets for this users section. And we'll see just how easily we can lazy load parts of our application. And here we're grabbing a list of users from GitHub's API. And if I click one, it'll also go to their page, show their user face, uh, their avatar and their username. And that's gonna be some routing techniques and how we can use route parameters here. All in all, I think there's a lot of really great concepts that we're gonna work with in this course. And let's talk about prerequisites. We're gonna need Node. We're not actually going to build anything uh, with Node. We need the package manager that it comes with called NPM. And that's kind of the way that the JavaScript world has been moving these days. Everybody uses NPM to pull in their packages or Yarn. And we're pulling in packages from npmjs.com. Instead of going in and finding your packages online and then trying to do a script tag and link to it, you just do an NPM install and then you have all those packages locally and we'll see how the Angular CLI does that for us. Another prerequisite for this course, I think it's good to have some ES6 background as the entire JavaScript ecosystem, like React, Angular, Vue, they're all kind of moving towards all of the ES6 functionality. So you'll see some stuff like ES6 classes, you'll see, you'll especially see transpiling and ES6 module loading. And that's why we're gonna have things like TypeScript and Webpack inside of our Angular application. But don't let that scare you away. It's very easy to use thanks to the Angular CLI. And CLI tools are also very important in today's ecosystem. If you use uh, Angular, you're gonna use the Angular CLI. If you use React, you have Create React App. Vue has their own built-in CLI. All right, enough of that. Let's go over to our command line. Where are we at here? Command line. And let's make sure that we can install the Angular CLI. So if you already have Node and NPM installed, you can do Node dash V to see what version you're on. And I know this is a bit of an older version, um, but here we can go NPM install global, and we're gonna go at angular slash CLI. So go ahead and install that. 